Hi everyone, this is Dr. Johan Christopher, consultant cardiologist at CARE Musharabad, and I'm here to tell you some very important tips uh, how to recognize a heart attack and what to do when you have it. It is first very important to know whether you are at a high risk for heart disease and for a heart attack. For that, if you have risk factors like diabetes, hypertension, high cholesterol, and thyroid, you could be a candidate for heart disease. Also, if you're obese, then that put, puts you at a higher risk. If you're a smoker and you have uh, alcohol in excess, again, that makes you a high risk for heart disease. Once you know your risk profile for heart disease, it's very important to know the five or four trigger symptoms for heart attacks. The first is a very severe chest pain, which is central in the chest and doesn't go away even after you move or after you take an antacid. The second is an unexplained breathlessness when you're sitting or doing a very, very notional activity. The third is having unexplained dizziness or a sudden feeling of dropping to the ground. And the fourth thing is to have a very, very fast heartbeat when you're just performing a regular course. These are very important symptoms to recognize. And if they persist beyond two to three minutes, you must realize that a heart attack would be on the way. The first thing to do when you're having these symptoms is to call for help. Do not try to do anything alone and do not try to drive to the nearest center. We have ambulances round the clock available and these numbers will be shared with you. Please call a healthcare provider and an ambulance if possible. Ambulances are also fitted with electrocardiograms and they can take an ECG on the spot and make sure uh, whether you have a heart attack or not. It's also very important to have a caregiver or a health caregiver who is nearby, who you're in touch with, so you can give him a call and alert him that you may be coming to his clinic or hospital with a possible heart attack. The fourth thing is please do not panic. Hospitals are very ill equipped to take care of people like you. If you have an aspirin with you, please take it and crush it under your tongue and don't swallow it. You will get a lot of relief. And finally, when you feel you're very sick, keep coughing loudly so that that will improve the blood circulation into your lungs. I'm sure you will reach the hospital in time. And at care hospitals, we are very well equipped with ambulances and trained workers around the clock to help people like you. Thank you.